Hey guys, what's going on? Third Street Reactions here. We're back with Shane. Tom. We're back with Ninja Turtles, Season 4, Episode 5. Tom, last episode we had the shark episode. Um, Armagon. Armagon. I said Armacon at first. But that's like a Transformers. Armagon. Do you ever watch Fake Sharks? Mm -mm. You enjoying your candy there, Thomas? It's a cough drop. Oh, okay. Well, I never watched it either, but I had some kids at daycare that had the action figures. They were awesome looking. And Street I, sharks? Yeah, I think they were like there's these anthropomorphic animal, humanoid animal things, I think, in the early 90s. It's kind of jumping off the backs of like Battletoads and Ninja Turtles. I've never even heard of it. Yeah, they're like crime fighting except they're more of a gang. But it kind of reminded me of that. And his device that he travels in, his little ship, is just like a bigger shark. It's right. just kind of funny. Like, I just think that's so funny. Like, imagine us having a ship that's a shark, but he's a shark that has a ship as a shark. Yeah, he's just this rogue bounty hunter hired by Lord Drag, whose criminal type wanted in multiple, you know, systems, I guess. Yeah, it was like, over, it was like over 100 systems. And uh, he's formidable. He's a good fighter. He's competent. He's smart. Yeah, he is. Um, but... The uh, which we got the backstory on the Fugitoid uh, or Fugitoid, whatever his name is. Yeah, he was into human and then he lost his body, saved by his not android, but saved by his robot, right? And it became an android after they put the brain in. So, yeah, we're still out there. Lord Drag is still hot on the tail of the turtles using bounty hunters now. But now and we've caught sight or have located another Triceraton ship or planet of some yeah, sort yeah yeah you're right you're right so we're gonna go do that guys hey before we jump in if you want to support us check us out on patreon we have full length uncut reactions i hope you enjoy those make sure you come back here for the discussion let's jump in back in the city for a dream <laughs> or another vr yeah sorry to interrupt leo fugitoid needs us on the bridge fugitoid if you, if you know it's VR. The Triceraton who finds the fragment first will be promoted one full rank. There is a strange interference blanketing the planet, sir. Assemble an away team. Do not alert Central Command to our location. It will be Mozar who finds the fragment. Mozar? Mozar. I don't know about you much about music. Right? You sure this is going to work? The Triceratons are convinced the first piece of the Black Hole Generator is on that planet. I'm just gonna say it now. Something's not right about this mission. She's got a bad feeling about this. When someone says that in the spaceship, it's never a good thing, Tom. Correct. Activating clock! Better work this time, Donnie. Cloaking devices fascinate me. I know. It's radiating a strange power. Like, pure evil. We're flying into danger, Professor. Evil, you say? Nonsense. Evil? It is gorgeous down there. What's so gorgeous about it? Future, dude! Well, I have. Occasionally. Looks like Melted gum. This looks like gum. The evil triceratons have invaded Earth. Whoa! This place is like pure evil, maybe? Yeah. No one listens to the psychic. All the flora and fauna here are very strange. I don't understand these readings at all. Little space monkey cat rat thing. Cat rat. Aren't you a cute? It's not that cute. Nice one, genius. Now you probably have space rabies. Right? Space rabies? Yeah, what if you have some sort of disease now? Yeah. Oh. The Aeons must have fled without their divine power. What are Aeons? Powerful ancient aliens. The first beings to evolve in the universe. This energy is really screwing up my readings. So fix it, genius. I thought you were supposed to be the smart one. Which clearly makes you the stupid one. <laughs> that definitely makes Raph the angry one. Check it out. I got something for you. <laughs> <laughs> You're the gullible one. Ever since we were little, you've been giving me show ladies. I thought you said give me shit. Me too. Enough! We're on a serious mission here, so stop it! Everyone, take cover! Dude, they would have saw you. Jeez, man. Those are weird looking, man. Tell you what they look like. Oh. Very strange. Oh. 
strange. These creatures are definitely not native to this planet. Now we got demon bats and triceratons to deal with. No triceratons to deal with yet. Okay, now you do. Yeah. We should have just been down. The planet's energy blocks off the outside world. No matter. Find the fragment, or I will leave you behind on this nightmarish world. <laughs> I am reading. We're going around in circles. <laughs> Scanners as useless as that gap in your teeth. Oh, let's not go back there, Casey. You know my gap is way more awesome than your gap. My gap is way bigger than yours. You got a baby gap. Did you cut it out? You're more annoying than Raph. Get over here, man. Why are they fighting, guys? Calm down. Yeah, it's. Let's bank it. We have more important stuff to deal with. Like this. Must be from some sort of ancient civilization. Duh. I love ancient civilizations, especially ancient alien civilizations. Those guys are like the pinnacle of extreme metal. <laughs> Casey. Too close. Thank goodness they're, they're not going, are they? Why don't you wait? Why don't you wait like two seconds? Come on. Monkey, you're in my anger zone. <laughs> That's terrible. You guys are ninjas. You gotta work together. Might have been a bad move. Uh oh. Uh, yeah. my, my head. Ah! Ah! Maybe gonna be able to, maybe it's gonna be air. Whoa. Whoa. Huh. Dudes, we can breathe the air here. Sweet! You telling me we can breathe the entire time? Back off my shell, man! Yes! I don't know, man. I might still play it safe. Yeah, because what if they're just bacteria and shit? Right. Ow! Cool weapons. Guys, it's not you. It's the world that's affecting you. Yeah. The rage is so hard to control. Then focus it on the demon dudes. It could be anything through these trees, dude. The trees themselves, it could be carnivorous. Carnivorous plants to me are some of those disgusting things. Can you imagine like these ancient Venus flytraps? Like, ugh. No, you can't. You've seen Jumanji, right? Mm -hmm. God, imagine that thing. Big oh, flower thing pointing in. That statue. What is it, Professor? Some kind of mystical guardian? It's a depiction of the Aeons, the beings that fled this world. Guess the demons drove them off a long time ago. Look what happened to their world. You have about as much sensitivity as a rabid dog. Look, just because you're leader doesn't mean you have to get in everyone's face. Don't start on that leader thing again, Raph. You've always been jealous of me. Jealous? <laughs> Raph, I love you, bro. Leo, I, I'm sorry. I, I don't understand what's going on. The planet. We got to remember that. We have to focus. The statue. It's pointing. Well, let's see where it takes us. It's like Indiana Jones. Fools. 
I should throw you all into the try arena for such incompetence. <laughs> Where is my private? I knew you'd laugh at that. Bah! Your technology is worthless here. It is the planet that is infuriating you, not our technology. <laughs> Next time it will be you, Zarus. I'm getting a signal, sir. The Fugitoid. Track it, Lieutenant Zovax, and pray you do not lose him. To the Aztec looking. <gasps> that is one dope alien temple, yo. I bet you this place is loaded with booby traps. What's the worst that can happen? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Amazing. What does it say, Professor? It's in ancient Aeonian. Uh, uh, the light of the Aeons shall illuminate all. What the heck does that mean? Yo, check it out. What do you think this does? Casey, no! Oh, dear. dude. Oh. It does that, you big thing! Ah! Indiana Aww. Jones, dude. God. That was completely my bad. Yeah, short round. <laughs> right? That's all we have in cinema. What we usually have. And Jackie Chan, that's it. Jamie Lynn's tired, so. There it is. First piece of the black hole generator. Yes, we did it. Who cares? We found it first. We rule. I don't know. You should wait. By the luck of the great Sam Moran. Obliterate them. Serotons are like, they're big, dude. They're huge, dude. That looks. We just disintegrated them. That's a good weapon. That's better than anything else the turtles have. At last. Hmm? What? what? <laughs> the first fragment belongs to. It has been set in stone. No! And now it is sealed in stone. Man, he's he's handy. Low on power. There's got to be a back door or something. Oh really? Why would there be? And the emperor will make me an admiral for this. Captain Moza, look. <laughs> I'd be more worried about dying than that. Right. It's gotta be a water trap. I'm okay. <laughs> what is it, Professor? It's the soul star containing the power of life itself. So it was hidden away. And the world turned evil. The light of the Aeons shall illuminate all. It means we put it where it belongs. <laughs> Back on top of the temple. What's going to happen when they do, though? Back to the ship. I think it'll drive off the demons. At least, I hope. You hope? You could be totally wrong! Give her a chance, Raph. Oh, no. You got a better idea, Raph? Yeah. So these are native to the planet. What the hell are they? No! The Triceratons are getting away! We have to do this. It's not just about saving Earth. It's about saving all worlds. What if those are native animals to the planet and they're just warped? Oh, you're right. Huh. Oh, they're gonna hurt like hell. Whoa. I haven't seen Stargate, but. 
Lactose the Amazon. It feels like a huge weight off my brain. You are right, you son of a bitch. Thank you. No. You saved us from ourselves. Yourselves? The Utron gave us the fragment to protect, but its immense power entranced us. We Aeons had never allowed technology on our world before. We began to worship its technological power and hid away our beloved soul, thus corrupting our world. We became monstrous, horrible things. Thank you, friends, for saving our world. I can't do that, can I you? Can't, I can't do that either. This gift, it is a tiny fragment of our soul star. It will bring you both luck and power. Wow, it's beautiful. Goodbye, glowy dude. Where are they going? Well, bros. I thought you lost an adventure. arm. You Utron made a big mistake when they trusted the fragment with those guys. I guess that goes to show anyone can be corrupted by power. Man, I don't like that. Guys, that was the reaction. This is our discussion. That was my favorite episode of this season. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Did you think that the the Aeons at the end, those alien race, do you think they kind of look like the aliens from the Kamino planet in Star Wars? Cam the Kaminoans that possess uh, the cloning technology? Yeah. Yeah, I think they do. But with angel wings. Yeah. Yeah, they kind of do. You know, the idea that these highly godlike of all beings would be angels and maybe that's where our idea of angels come from because maybe they visited us and we have some kind of memory of them. Right. And we put it in our religions. You know, it, it's all kind of tied in there. Yeah, th this just felt a little more grounded. They're going to a planet and then they had to get an ancient artifact from these ancient aliens. That's just my type of storyline right there, man. Yeah, that's cool. And I thought that the, the aeons, when they were still dark, I thought... The, sh the shadow things that they were kind of looked like the things you fight off of Kingdom Hearts. <clears throat> the Heartless. Yeah. Then it, how they're like the black shadowy. Yeah. The one was, le the first one we see, they're le legit black. And then we had a closer shots to them. They were like, they had fur and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, uh, Mozart, that is the name of the alien. It's funny because I, I know Mozart and Mozart are different. Earlier... I was thinking of Mozart. I said, I don't know a lot about music. And then I had to follow up with that thought. I imagine Brent, the editor, be like, they said Mozart, not Mozart, you idiot. I sat there for a minute and I was like, what's music got to do with this? What's he talking yeah, about? Yeah, I was Mozart? thinking of Mozart. Yeah. I don't even know what century he, he's from. Like, what, 17? Yeah, I don't know. 18? Yeah, I have no idea. The Aeons being the first beings that evolved in the universe, well, I, I, I don't know if I believe in evolution, but does he mean they're the first intelligent life that evolved? It seems very contradictory. Because, because things had, if we're, if we're from if we're from single cell organism, or come from some primordial soup, and then that soup gets struck by lightning and then you know becomes whatever, like that, th there were a bunch of evolutions that took place before it got to the aeons, so they wouldn't be the first. Well, they were described by Fugitoid as powerful ancient aliens. Yeah. So it seems a little contradictory to me that they would have succumbed to this. Yeah. Right, like this idea that they have this powerful well, they never allowed artifact, it. yeah, and they were willing to forego the life force of their own planet in order to serve it. Well, I think the message is is that power. I mean, it can corrupt. Yeah, and it, it can even corrupt them. They, they never even allow technology on their planet. So, like, if it wasn't for that, would they be more powerful than the Triceratons right now? I don't know because Triceratons, they are a war spe war like species. They have technology. It's just weird that they would forego technology and that they're. So, why do they ban it? I and mean, what kind of government do they have? Does the government control that? And if so, it doesn't sound like a paradise to me. Right. Sounds like a bunch of commies. It's a commie angels. One of my favorite lines uh, you know, you're about as useless as a gap between your teeth. <laughs> I, I, I love the. I love the idea of like going in these ancient temples that have like. Like this Messio American vibe. You know what I mean? It looks like an Aztec or Mayan temple when there's all these traps like Indiana Jones and then there's the artifact and it it's kinda of giving me like the you know, like, like a Halo vibes a little bit. It's it was awesome. I liked it. Favorite episode of the season yeah, by I always, far. I always enjoyed traversing levels like this. See I remember back I think it might have been clear back to like the Nintendo sixty four with like some of the Laura Croft games. Yeah. Where there's just like this big exploration axe 
aspect on in places like this and i mean indiana jones of course but even uh traversing around is nathan drake right well i love the uncharted franchise yeah. i think ending in a four was a mistake i think the, that character and that type of game you can just go on and on i i didn't need like this big serious wrap up for four I liked it. I loved it, but I didn't need it to end there. The Soul Star, what the fuck is that again? Yeah, the Soul Star was the 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 power in a literal physical sense. It is what gave the planet and that race its power and its life and its goodness and the light. Yeah. So by April placing it back in its mantle where it belonged, it it righted all the wrongs of the planet and of the, the species and the wildlife and the ecosystem and so it, it was a physical representation of the goodness of that okay of very that good planet i like the episode though it was yeah, cool no, i liked it a lot i want more of stuff like that and at least now i feel like we have a benchmark going into the next episode and it isn't just this randomly roaming around trying to like okay we know exactly where this out artifact is we know who has it and it's close by exactly yeah guys if you don't want to wait like we have to actually no we're going to watch it right after this but if you don't want to wait to next week you can check out the next episode the next four episodes on patreon right now